back to the assassination of Haitian President Jovenel Moise, who was ambushed and killed inside his home overnight. His wife, the First Lady, also injured and flown to South Florida for medical treatment. Haiti's democracy has faced many challenges, but never one of this size and scope. Back in May, on May 1st, in fact, I traveled to Cap Haitian to meet up with Jovenel Moise and ask him about the country's future and his legacy. If passionate patriotism is required to be president, then Jovenel Moise had plenty, holding the Haitian flag after our last conversation. Now keep going. He was defiant, taking on his critics, refusing to step down. His polarizing four years in office were marked with day after day of manifestations. Protests that sometimes turned violent. For one year, Moïse ruled by decree, ostensibly a dictator inside Haiti's young democracy. He was criticized by the international community for not doing enough to end Haiti's humanitarian crisis. From hunger to high inflation, to the country's recent wave of frightening kidnappings, one of them caught on Facebook Live Easter weekend. Moïse was so proud of how he brought blacktop roads, construction projects, and a new dam to villages in Haiti's countryside, asking me to follow his motorcade as crowds greeted him and his wife, Martine. In Haiti, behind every mountain is another mountain, and Moïse's assassination may be the nation's biggest political mountain yet to overcome. Time will certainly tell as to what happens next for this country. And there are still so many questions surrounding that. But you have yeah. mentioned before, Calvin, uh, that there have been attempts on his life before. Could yeah. that be something they're looking into as to how this could have happened? Early in his administration, several attempts on his life. But the big question is, um, has this ever happened uh, in terms of the DEA coming to his right. home before? No, that's never happened. Was this an inside job? We don't really know if it's an inside job or not. Uh, there are also questions about uh, whether or not the attacker seemed to yell DEA agents, as we heard in some of the videos. Well, yeah, that would seem to in indicate or even suggest that maybe that the president was involved in some sort of drug trafficking mm -hmm. in all of my years of covering him. Even before he was president, never heard a rumor, never heard speculation of any kind, any overtures at all that he was involved in drugs. So we just don't know at this point. And really quickly, yeah. lastly, do we know who's going to step up and rule the country for now? Well, that is a $64,000 question right now. It's the prime minister who is going to take over the government. But as we know, uh, you know, they had issues with electing new members of the parliament. So there's been talk about the Senate president taking over. So right now they really don't know. Again, this is a real yeah. test, a real mountain for their government. Absolutely awful what yeah. happened. And now his kids, too, and his wife oh, three children, here in Miami. Right. That's right.